Hello folks, it's Thursday, March 26th. I'm going to touch base just right quick for a second. Um, I spoke last night and let that upload overnight, so um, I see that, you know, a few folks have watched it. Um, I tried to say some things that, you know, were in my mind, you know, important. Um, as always, I want to impart how I'm doing and hoping you're doing okay. Unfortunately, this pandemic is happening and the um, reality of the spread is happening. You know, the numbers, the exponential numbers, which cannot be ignored, ignored. And yet I actually know people personally who are still posting, you know, this idea that we can just ignore this hoax, which is being put upon us to uh, let loose some sort of authoritarian control or some other kind of madness, you know. Um, it's truly um, the effect on the health system, hospitals, um, healthcare workers, those are real stories besides the people who are getting ill. So my thoughts and energy and respect and love go out to everyone, all health work care workers, everyone actually that's working because this is, you know, I will share some music I was, I've been listening to today. I'm not going to stay on long. I intend to keep this short, but here in America, because there is not wide, widely available testing, we're we're kind of shooting in the dark. It really would help if we had, as I'm seeing, watching what's happened internationally, where testing and people using that to quarantine themselves and to keep, literally to keep things from spreading, how effective that's been here in America. We don't have that. So we're still dealing with in the dark um, you know, inadvertent spreading, which is easy for, for people to deny, to deny who are not directly seeing or experiencing it still. It's unfortunate because I can already see that we're unfortunately at the tip of the iceberg here in America with the devastation regarding health, not economics. That's already started, you know, we'll see what this, you know, um, stimulus, we'll see how that goes in relation to everything else. Keeping my eyes open. I, I kind of think that I've been just seeing this, not kind of, well, to be quite honest, I have been seeing pictures of this and stuff like this since I was pretty young, you know, and the thing that I would always think is, well, uh, hopefully that's not going to happen in my lifetime. And yet here, what, um, the beginnings of something I've seen, you know, like in repetitive dreams, you know, what do they call those dreams where you have them over and over again and they go on like a movie? Uh, this breakdown, you know, that's what I'm talking about. So, everyone be blessed, you know. It is real, you know, and um, it's understandable. The thing that um, I am definitely not into is giving into anxiety and even less fear. And that's really gripping a lot of people fear and it's just unfortunate and that just that's the part see I just got to talk until I'm done don't I that's the part where people who are um, suspicious of all of this what's happening this is where I understand where they're coming from because fear is used as a control mechanism and techniques so vividly 
and so historically, you know, effectively so. And here we are, you know, in a situation where people are gripped with fear and a lot of people are panicking, unfortunately, you know. So, um, we got to try to just really just maintain, we, you know, uh, that's what I'm doing. I talk to my brother every day in particular. Through the internet, I interact with my sisters and my nephews and my great nephews. My older brother, less so, but yes, we're in touch. <laughs> yeah, this is a wild ride. I was li listening to Porcupine Tree's Fear of a Blank Planet just now. This is the um, deluxe CD version that has a 5.1 uh, surround sound version. I don't have a 5.1 speaker setup. My house is so small that I really don't have the room for a 5.1 to really experience it, but man, I like this album. When it came out, just like Deadwing, when those two albums came out, I was really into Porcupine Tree and sunk deep into that music, played it a lot, learned a lot of the songs on the guitar and the bass, just liked it so much, as well as what Steve Wilson was putting down uh, in his words. Just very, just like kind of reportage, not kind of, but reportage. And it just really fits what, where we're at right now. Fear of a blank planet. I'm listening to this today. Kieran Hebden, who is also known as Fortet. You know this guy, the electronics guy? Uh, collaboration that he did with uh, deceased jazz drummer Steve Reed. The Exchange Sessions. This is volume one. I've got both. Just decided to pop this on. This is really good. Really good. Really good. Just, you know, it encompasses the... In, it's in the whole vibe of can, where it's improvised. Rhythm is really important, but sound. And what's happening with the sound is like... You, you're not so sure how... It's, it, it's anything goes, so it's unique. And um, this is really good. Kieran Hebden played this, the the extras, the second album on this, the demos album, Pale Saints, The Comforts of Madness. This is the um, recent reissue. This is really done good, and boy, what a good band! And uh, really examining their sound as I listen, and. After watching some old live video of them recently because of getting back into them, I see where a big part of their sound is the attack of the drummer. He has a particular att attack on the drums. Plays dr plays with gloves too. And I, I can hear why. Very interesting. I love it. And then the bass player who sings, a lot of times he's playing chords. And it's like, oh, that's, there it is. There's that coloration. It's not just the bottom, hardly on any of the songs. These chords and, and then his choir boy voice. It's really a very intriguing, intoxicating sound. Pale Saints, love it. That's the main thing that I have been playing today. Yeah, let me just go ahead and stop here so it's not too long. I'm trying to think what else have I done today. Really, I'm sat in silence for a while, you know. The whole idea is to to maintain. Maintain a routine, keep it normal. I didn't sage today, but I sprayed cinnamon oil throughout the house. Read about it. It's... I found that it works, you know. Um, I first started doing it in relation to spiders, but then I kept looking it up to see even further about uh, old knowledge. Because I don't like to use the word belief. It may indeed be that, but the way that I approach these things is I'm looking for the knowledge. You know, I may believe this, but I don't want to talk about beliefs because... I think that beliefs just divide. You know, we all have beliefs. We can't possibly 
believe the same, even though we say we're believing the same thing. We're not believing it the same way, so I don't know. Notice I, that's a word I try very much not to use as well as the word should. But knowledge, you know what I'm saying? So cinnamon oil um, and water and spraying it, it's like, it really is a very nice, I don't know, is ionized, that may or not actually be scientifically correct, but it does something to the atmosphere that's good. As well as sage. Y'all know about that, right? Hmm. Talking, talking, healing. Let me stop. Be well, everyone. Be, just, yeah.